Hello everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now, in the last episode, we went ahead and we were collecting the... That's the wrong one. We were collecting... I was on the map and then I turned off it. Why? In the last episode, we had collected as many of the heart pieces and secret seashells as we can get. Now, there are 32 heart pieces in the game and 50 secret seashells. Now, some of them we simply couldn't get because they're either later in the game or I don't have the proper equipment to get them. But for now, there are these small areas that we don't have checked out on the map, which before we head off and do the rest of the game, because, well, there's still dungeon 6, 7, and 8, and then the final dungeon, it's technically dungeon 9. But the reason I kind of want to hold off on that is because, well, I kind of want to just get myself as powered up as possible. So the sooner I can do that, the better. So we're going to be heading off and exploring the rest of the map on the left side, or right, I meant to say. I always seem to get those confused for some reason. I don't know why. It's like, I can tell my left from right, but somehow I still get them confused, which makes absolutely no sense. But, you know, this moblin's going to be an ass and just stand right where I need to step up to. Get out of my way. All of you. But there are some still a good chunk of things we can do on the overworld that we can worry about and take care of. Because over here, there was this cave that I didn't check out when we were collecting, so... Kind of curious and want to check it out. Pete. <laughs> oh! Wow, I really should have come in here because it's a... <laughs> it's an empty room with a piece of heart. Man, I feel like an idiot because that gives me, yeah, another heart piece. Well then. It's been a while since I've played this, though. I've just kind of been messing around in uh, the new Gunvolt game. Ooh, I bring, I realize I bring that up a lot, but I've been having a lot of fun and a lot of frustrating moments. But anyway, that's not what we're playing right now. We're playing Legend of Zelda. So if we come down here, we do have this little raft hut. But I want to head down here and check out this area. Well, this is a bit strange. Piece of heart, but I have no idea how to get to it. There was something in the guide I had read that last time I was on it. Let's see, what does it say? Do you want to challenge the River Rapids on a raft? Please proceed into the office at once, please. No record set yet. Give it a try. Probably because no one lives over here. Or even has the means to get to you. Hello, good sir. You there, you want to go on a raft ride for 100 rupees? Sure. There are two ways to ride the rapids. With the rapid Rapids Raid, the goal is to pick up as many items as you can. The other way is the Rapids Race, where you try to get to the end as fast as you can. Which course will you be setting today? Uh, we'll just do the Rapids Raid. Okay, the raft is ready for you. Go outside and enjoy. We'll do that one first, just because it's the first option, and... Well, this didn't exist in the game. You just pay to ride the raft, and that's about it. Okay, this is incredibly slow. Okay, that's because I'm going the wrong way, and I don't think there was anything over there. Alright, so we gotta worry about collecting items. Okay, let me try not to go down there, because there's probably gonna be more items this way. Yep. Drag me over here. Oh, dear. Uh, no, bring me back. Bring me back. Dang it. Get the rupees. I have no idea where I'm going, which isn't exactly a good sign. I just get to the things. What? A secret seashell. That really doesn't help me at the moment. Arrgh, get me to the thing. Come on. Pretty sure it's on this. Okay, let me go ahead and equip my shovel real quick. The thing's going off, so yes. Another secret seashell. Sweet. The more those we get, the better. Okay, come on. Oh, I gotta re-equip the hook shot if I want a better chance of getting stuff. Okay, get the bombs and arrows. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Give me! Give me! Come on! Yes! Alright, I wanna try and get to these rupees. Come on. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay. Give me the rupees. Okay, there's more up here. Just snag them all. Snag everything! No! <laughs> No! Don't drag me! Yes! I got in! Alright, give me those. I gotta go down the waterfall, don't I? No more grabbing stuff. The rabbit raids is over. Do you want another go? Uh, no thank you. 
you want to get wet, we're always open. That's strange. But, um, okay, you're going to try and drop bombs on me. Let's drop off the raft and head into this cave that he just went in. I'm assuming this will lead me back to where that heart piece was, and if we hook shot across, we can get to where I need to go. Yes. New heart piece. Why would they even put it somewhere where you need the hook shot? I mean, I get that you would need items, but you can't even get to it without the hook shot in the first place. Why wouldn't they just, you know, put it somewhere where you can just, you know, grab it? What's with the extra work? And I get a piece of power that I don't need. Okay, I might have to challenge the, ra the race. Yes, hello. Yes, I would like to do the race. Could you just speed up your dialogue, please? I am impatient as all hell. Which is kind of ironic. That I get impatient very easily. Especially when I do stuff that takes forever. Three, two, one, go! Alright, come on. We don't... We ain't got time! For any of shenanigans. Send me down the waterfall, come on. Watch me end up having to, like... Because I remember hearing something... Well, not hearing, but reading something about having to beat my time... So that's going to end up being what's going to end up having to happen, is I'll need to beat my time. And, okay, come on, just send me through. Like, just keep it going. Like, come on. We're almost there. Four is up. The rapid race is over. Four is up. You just set me on a, a couple pieces of wood. Looks, looks like that's a new record for you. Your time was 33.24. Not bad, all things considered. You want a secret seashell? I hear collecting these things is all the rage now. Well, that's helpful-ish. Do you want another go? I'll hit ride again. There are two ways to ride. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll try the rapid race again, because I think I gotta do it one more time. I could be completely wrong at this, but... Yeah. Why did I even... Oh, yeah, because the piece of heart. I'm, like, questioning, why did I go back through the same cave when I don't need to do that? Okay, let's just try and do this quickly this time. But, you know, I gotta be quick. Quick on the draw. Like, fast. Just send me into the waterfall. Like, just send, send me down the river and let me go. That's all I ask. Send me down the river and just let me go. Come on. Come on. Come on. I gotta go faster! Like... Gotta go Sanic speed. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just clip something. Ah, that was way slower. Or is that the rapid race is over? Time was 37. Guess you got hung up somewhere. Guess I did. You want a piece of heart. We don't just give these to just anybody, you know? Well, I'm glad I did that a second time, because this was not expected. No, I'm not going to ride again. Oh, there's a secret seashell around here. Must be by that owl statue, I would assume. How to get to it, I have no idea. What's the map looking like? Hmm. Yeah, I think we have to go up from Animal Village to get to where I'm expecting to go. Okay. That's the wrong thing to have equipped. Where is... There we go. We need to head back to the Uka, Uka Prairie, the first uh, teleport station we unlocked. Because we're going to explore this little area here. This area right here is for the story so we'll be heading there probably next time and by next time I mean like in a couple hours by the time this goes up because oh, yeah when I record these I record like multiple at a time and then just get it edited and send it that's how I rolls get out of here you pig moblin hit me with your sword so I can hit you okay, we need a hook I didn't mean to use that I forgot to switch out my items No. Oh, hey, look. Really? Really? That just happened. Oh, I remember this area. Star here. Go this way. Now, this is a bit of a... A, uh... Bit of a mess, I would like to say. Try again, from the start. This is the start, though. Does this say it about all of them? I think it's gonna say it all about all of them. Yep. Okay, so if I, if I don't get it right, I have to do the whole thing over again. Okay, I think it's this one in the pond. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm sure it was one of these. God dang it. 
Okay, go down. Check this one. What do you mean, try again from the start? All of them that I check say try again from the start. Go this way, okay. And that should lead me to this one. Yes. And there's enemies in the way, and I believe it's this one. No, it isn't. Gosh darn it. Well, at least we got the first one. At least we got the first three, so getting the fourth shouldn't be too bait. No, we got... Well, yeah, no, technically we do have the first three. Go this way. Go this way. Now that I think about it, I think all the signposts... Ow! Get out of here. Yeah, all the signposts are supposed to, like, point directly to the next one. Okay, I need to get to these boxes. Lift. Chuck. Go this way. That doesn't make sense. There's nothing over here. Okay, don't fall into that. Hi. Do I have to check this sign? I'm gonna assume I have to check this one. Go this way. Don't fall in the hole. Okay, check this one. Go this way. What the heck am I doing now? Go this way. Go this way. Well, that leads me to this sign over here. Go this way. I don't remember this maze being this nuts. Not really nuts, but just this complicated. Go this way. At least to this sign. Go this way. Okay, I'm pretty sure that means this one. Go this way. Chuck a rock. Go this way. Why do you keep sending me all the way around? I remember it, like checking the floor and then you open the thing. Great, you did it. Your reward is this way. Thank you. I don't remember this maze being that much. I believe you just had to get to that last one. Then it's like, boom, there you go. There's your prize. But then again, it has been a while. Anyway, but here is Wart from Super Mario Bros. 2 or Doki Doki Panic as it was known in Japan. But I'm pretty sure this is information that everybody knows nowadays. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu. No, you're... You're not Mamu, you're... you're <laughs> Wart. I forgot, the, I forgot his name for a split second, I was just saying it. On vocals. But, I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen in to a previously unreleased cut. What do you say? I'll pay. Pretty sure he just wants my money. Gotta have the spotlights. <laughs> You've been a wonderful audience, no encores croak. And we collect! You learn Frog Song of Soul. It's a very moving tune, it can even liven up on living things. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Now there is something we can do with this, if I remember correctly, but if we check our map, that completes that area. Now, I'm hoping I remember this correctly because I don't recall if it does anything else? Hello. Ow. Just get me out of here. Get me out. But if we head back to Mabe Village, this should let me ask something. I did not mean to hit that cuckoo. But, you know, whatever. You know, is it cuckoo or cuckoo? I hear everyone say that a lot, but if we play it here, this should doesn't budge an inch. Do I have to play it, like, directly in front of it? No? What the heck? Here sleeps the flying rooster. Grandma Yahoo's not here. She's in the animal village. That's what Grandpa Yorira said on the phone. Okay, I thought this thing was supposed to move. What is with this? Come on! Okay. Well, that kind of sucks. Is there anything else in the shop? I'm curious. I think I've maxed out most of my items except for magic powder, but 
Yeah, there's nothing really here for me. Okay, let's head to the next area that we gotta go to. Let me re... Dang it. I gotta stop just pressing the X button. All spastic-like. So that we can just teleport faster. But we are gonna be going through most of... I forget what this area is called. Honestly, though, I think we can actually... Can we? It's possible, but I'm not sure exactly how possible it is. I remember in the original game, there was a specific dungeon that you were able to skip. But I don't recall if it was the seventh dungeon you could skip to. If it is, and I'm remembering that properly, that would be pretty funny if I was able to do it. But, yeah. Okay, yeah, we need to go up here. And, well, this just leads to the windfish, doesn't it? Yeah. So we need to head through here. Then we go up over top, I believe. Yeah, because there's a bridge up there. So we gotta go through this normally. That's what needs to be done the first time around. Okay, let's get a move on. Oh, God. I have a hair in my mouth. That is... And that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the screen. Always pay attention to the screen. Or at least just, you know, pause the game instead of messing around and just being like, Oh gosh, something's wrong with my face. Okay. We need to go through the one over here. Let's just break everything in our path. Hopefully though we should be able to get to where I need to go. So let's get a move on. Charge! Jump it! Oh, I didn't realize there was like more. Wait, what's... Oh, don't send me down the waterfall, please. But is there something if we go into here? Apparently there's a secret seashell nearby, too. Yeah, oh, there's a bomb on the wall. That's always useful. Equip the bombs! Get rid of that shark. Piranha. Is it shark or piranha? I'm gonna assume piranha because of its size. Okay, that leads to a staircase, but where does the rest of this go? It's gonna be an enemy, isn't it? Yep. Ow. He sees. One gets me from behind. Oh! Not doing too amazing on health. Okay, there is a secret seashell here. That hole has got to lead to that cave. I guarantee it. Okay, let me equip my shovel. There's gotta be. Watch it be in that treasure chest up there that I'm nowhere near. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the case. If it's going off over there, then it's probably the treasure chest. And I'm just being dumb, attempting to open it. Or find something, I mean. So yeah, that's probably the case. Okay, what was through here? A bunch of enemies. I'm gonna get hit back. Arr! That was close. I did not want to fall into that hole. Okay, what do we got? Pretty sure this is gonna lead us to like... What's over here? Why would you put this area here and just have nothing? Hmm. That's a tad strange. Well, we have a staircase, at least. Probably should have taken that staircase I had earlier. But, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't go places I probably should. Ow! You know what? You can die for that one. If you hit me, you pay with your life. That's how I will treat these enemies. You will fall. Stop. Fall off the ledge. Thank you. I need the hook shot. Yeah. Yeah. Get across okay, I don't think I can come back once we go through here. Well, I probably can, just not the way I went. Oh, there's a bomb on the wall here. Where's my bombs? Give me the bombs. You know, it's kind of funny as I... Wait, what? Well, ain't that interesting. Now we have a quick way over to the eastern Tao Tao Mountains. And that will be useful when we need to come back here. And a fairy fountain. I already have a fairy in a bottle, and now I've got most of my health back, so I'm not even going to bother getting the extra heart. I probably should, knowing how I am in this game and how many times I've already died, but, you know, sometimes you just gotta throw caution to the wind, and if I eat it, then I'll probably have, like, everyone tell me that I was wrong, and I probably should have gotten that extra heart, but hey, you know, sometimes you don't need it. What's with the weird almost skull, but not quite a skull? Like, you guys see, like, the eyes and the nose and the... Holes in the floor? Just me, right? 
Okay, I don't think we have the key to open up this one, but this is for the seventh dungeon, I think. Huh? A keyhole here. It says bird keyhole. Yeah, I think we need another item for that. Can I make this jump? No, I cannot. Dang it. That sucks. Means we'll have to go back up the mountain range the normal way. So dang it. So I was trying to get to the left side of the map. I want to get up there. But going up there isn't exactly the easiest thing to do because I don't recall exactly how to do all that. So let me teleport back over to Dobbit. Wait. If we go past Kaponga Swamp, is that going to lead me to where I want to go? Or am I just going to be a total idiot when I go over there? That's what we're going to find out. And I kind of wonder if that's going to end up being the case. I probably... Ooh, give me that! Ow! Both of you go down. I love it when the enemies just kind of like fly across the screen. It's just like, get out of here. And that is an item over there. I need to equip the hook shot if I want to kill these guys. That is a bow. I think it'll do just as well, but hey... It's done. And then done. And you can just fly across the screen. Give me the treasure that I never collected for some reason. Come on, what we got? 50 rupees. Not bad, but then again, I just realized I'm incredibly broke. <laughs> it's funny, because I am actually broke. Okay. Hopefully this will lead me to where I want to go. Get out of here. That's the hook shot. I almost just dove straight into that hole. Jump it! Okay, get rid of the like likes. I don't like like likes. Eh, of course. Why do I have to be right sometimes where I'm just like, the music, the fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Doesn't make sense. Maybe one of these tunnels will lead me to where I want to go. Possibly. I mean, we got some treasure chests. That's something. Get out of here. What do we got? More rupees. Useful. But I can't really use them at the moment. Give me treasure. What do we got? 20 rupees. I mean, not bad, but the other chest was better. <laughs> then that kind of just ends. So I'm going to pop out of the other side, aren't I? Yep. I'm surprised they just didn't cut this whole, like, spot off. Hmm. It's also a bit strange that there's no, like, easy way back over here. Like, there's no teleporting places, which is kind of strange if you ask me. And I'm going down. I get caught on the corner of a hole and it's just like, nope, you're going down. How? How does any of that? work. And how am I even supposed to get over there? From the looks of it, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, because there's a cave right here. So would that mean there's like a bombable wall in this cave here or something? Because none of this would lead over to that. And also, how did I even map out this area? Well, probably when I stepped up here into that cave. Hmm. Let me go ahead and equip Mambo's Mambo. We'll teleport over back to as close as we can get. And then I'll just check for a bombable wall and we'll find out if I'm right or if I'm incredibly wrong. But then probably going to end up being incredibly wrong. Although we have mapped out pretty much the rest of the map, so... Once it comes time, we can go and explore the rest. And actually get started with the Dungeon 6 quest. Don't hit me, please. Just take a rock. And you can enjoy that. Let's get moving. Should be right up here, yeah? Okay, let's hope there's a bubble wall in here. And then I'm just... Wait, was there... That was a staircase up there, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, I'm wrong. Really? I hate you. Okay, well, there was that staircase, so maybe if we head back through... I, I, I'm not done figuring this out. I want to know, because I want to go over there. I want to get the items. 
I want the things. And why are those things a balloonish? To me, that just doesn't make sense. Like, there's a way over there. So I go through this cave. That should lead me up to the top. And I might be able to get to the bridge. Maybe? Or then there was that cave from before. Okay, we've got like two places I can give a shot, but I'm not 100% sure they're going to lead me to where I want to go, but one of them has to. That's all I can say. That's telling me I have a secret seashell, but I was like digging everything up over here. Yeah, okay, we need to go to, to that one that I skipped over earlier. So let's just gun it, jump it, and where was it? I mean, we're up here now. Yeah, this is where I wanted to go, so I just need to go up this ladder? And what's in here? The cuckoo house. Coco? Cuckoo? Hello, you look like Luigi, hen housekeeper. Chickens these days don't have the fighting spirit they used to. In the old days, they could fly flap flap, but now see cluck cluck. Hey, you. Knock it off. Anyone who messes with my chickens has no business in my coop. Oh, so I just get kicked out. Is he gonna let me back in? Okay, cool. Chickens these days don't have the fighting spirit they used to. In the old days, they could fly flat flat. Now you see, cluck cluck. I can't really jump. Well. Pretty sure if you had a cuckoo in the original, you could just like, use them to like, get over like, huge distances. I just realized how many times I said like, in that sentence. Ah! Oh, hey, sweet. Secret seashell. I will take it. Because we need to collect a lot of these. There's going to be an enemy under there. Knew it! And well, this kind of leads me to nothing. Would there be a secret staircase around here? To get to that tunnel? Probably not. Worth a shot. Yeah, I figured there wouldn't be anything. Oh wells. Let me just head to the other side. There is still that one other area, but we'll get to exploring it eventually. Okay, let's not... Why are you telling me there's stuff around here? Don't do this to me, game. Don't... Don't make me a fool by just digging up everything. What is happening? I completely missed. Throw it at an angle. And you get out of here. Well, that was definitely the wrong way. I don't know why I didn't think for throwing it from the bridge. <laughs> I miss again. Come on. There we go. Please, somewhere I can get it. Yes! That would have been kind of funny, though, if it just decided to land, like, on the lower part. Just like, no, you can't have this. Uh, go have fun trekking back for that. Where is the next... Okay, good, I can get back to that. So, what's around here? I'm pretty sure I've seen this earlier, because the grass didn't decide to spawn. At least I think that's what happened. That's a bumble wall. Give me your helmet that you're using as a disguise. Let's just blow this wall to hell. Figure out what's beyond it. Abso- oh wait, no, there's an entrance right here. Hey! That heart piece I was trying so desperately to get. Finally. We get a full health recover, thank you! Although, honestly, I was not expecting to get that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get locked off as soon as I go down here. Kinda sucks, but you will. Okay, we need the hook shot out again. Item switching is just as annoying as it was in the original. Because of course it is! Actually, no, now that I think about it, I don't think it was Dungeon 7 you can get to access to early. It was Dungeon 8. Which, ironically, is over this way. Could we get to Dungeon 8 early, I wonder? Wouldn't that be a fun thing? Let's just head to Dungeon 8 and say screw the rest of it. So I don't remember the item that you get from Dungeon 6, and it probably would be inc 
incredibly helpful. Oh, seashells. I'm glad we got the little tuner thing that tells me where they are, because now we got 40 of them, so there's only like 10 left to get. Which is very good. What's in here? Rupees, yes. Okay. I can use them, but not really much really left to buy in the game, I don't think. Let's hop down here. Oh, we gotta... Ow! I'm pressing the wrong button. I want to equip my shield so I can block these, but I keep firing the hookshot like an idiot. Hey, another piece of art. Sweet! My heart's been filled. Wait, do I get another one? Yeah! Cool, we're just finding more of them. Okay, there's a bomb of a wall. Go ahead and just drop and plop that down and run away so I don't get hit. Right, what's inside here? I wonder. Yeah. Ah, yes. Because this blocks you off so you can't make it. But, I'm pretty sure. This is probably going to do a crap ton of damage, but I do have that fairy in a bottle and I do have that potion. This is either not going to work at all, or it's going to work incredibly well, and we're going to be able to skip right to Dungeon 8. What? Come on! Nope. I don't think it's going to work. One more time! Okay, yeah, I don't think it is. I'm not a quitter! Okay, yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. We can't get to Dungeon 8. It would have been funny, though, but in the original, you actually are able to just ignore not really so much ignore but you were able to get past that to a degree that it couldn't fire you back fast enough and if you were quick about it you could easily like just skip past it and be like haha actually you know what we have 40 i'm gonna teleport to the seashell man to see if we get anything new and then we can call this an episode and then we'll get started on heading towards dungeon six because that's where we gotta go next but i just want to know if i get anything new I have 40 of these things. I probably need 45, and then it's 50 gets you to the end of it. Uh, maybe? No. Well, we get 35. So yeah, 40 will get me that, and then we need 50 for the rest. Raise your sword overhead. I shall grant you a new power. Wait, did we just get the second sword here? You got the Kaholan sword. You should put your name on it right away. Wait, so I just got the sword upgrade? Well, that's cool, because I didn't think we would get that, but now these enemies go down in one hit. So sweet! I might actually... Um, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to switch my tunic over to the red armor for the rest of the game, because I think having more damage output against bosses and whatnot and enemies will help me out. So I'll meet you guys in the next episode. We'll be in Animal Village, because it'll be a faster way to get to here instead of at the Seashell Mansion. But we're going to head off and explore what we need to, that the Wind Marimba told us to go and seek out the island secrets. So yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later!